What is up, killers? Kev here, and today back with a brand new episode of five new console mods to hit the Bethesda on a website this week. This is going to be episode 522 within my series, but without further ado, guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot within the video is going to be rallies, all the things, rallies, cut 1k, coming in at 101 megabytes of a download. This particular mod is a compilation of 31 collective mods, all squashed into one particular mod for you guys to pick up and try. All are going to be from the nexusmods.com with full permissions to head over. But for this particular one, it does cover an awful lot of things. I'm only going to read a few, but if you want a full synopsis and description, make sure to click the links down below and have a little look yourselves but for this one it does cover the manholes of solitude pillows road signs ink wells and quibbles skeleton keys water foam hall of the kings werewolf totems a lot of things like honey pots they're going to be golden coins fishing poles farming tools draw knives dark elf furniture dark brotherhood clutter roofs flames brooms ants black reach mushrooms and loads of other different things guys if you want a collective pack for all the small things that are not included within larger mods that are scattered around the bethesda and want a collective one that are coming in at beautiful model meshes and texture just add a little bit more spice to the game this is going to be a great pack for you to pick up this week Zolfar Dan, the Wretched Hive, Atmospheric Player Home, coming in at 100.4 megabytes of a download. And before you start screaming and going absolutely mental, guys, that is an absolutely insane download size for such a odd player home. Guys, trust me, this player home is more like a mini dungeon. It is freaking huge. But this one is going to be beneath the College of Windhold and upon jumping off the bridge to the College of Windhold, you will find this particular location as viewed on screen now. This one has a ton of features within it. It's absolutely insane. All basic crafting sections, including a custom smelter, enchanting table, alchemy lab, four custom storage containers, three mannequins, eight weapon racks, three unique weapon plaques, two bookcases, four teleportation sort of locations that you can go in and out of which scatter between the throughout Skyrim such as Whiterun, Riften, Markarth and Solitude and loads of other different appearances to do with different rooms. This is a absolute maze. It actually took me a very long time to find the main settlement, the main actual in quotations player home. This was insane. Make sure that you do bring sort of potions, weapons and loads of other different things as you will need to clear this particular one out. An absolute great atmospheric and exploring player home definitely one to pick up if you're interested in sort of like dungeons but also a very unique cross between that and the player's home immersive vampire clothes coming in at 64.4 kilobytes of a download this mod makes vampires wear clothes and armor instead of vampire armor note vampires can still spawn in vampire armor at very high levels some vampire outfits can depend on what race they are wearing like high elves can spawn in elven armor or thelmore outfits or nords can spawn in stormcloak armor so obviously this is going to be sort of like a tiering system throughout the game personally i think it's very good indeed if you're a scrubby vampire you should be wearing clothes if you're a very high ranking vampire been through the ranks and you're an absolute beast you should be wearing armor makes sense and it's a nice new fix to the game woody's mossy rocks hd coming in at 27.7 megabytes of a download now allowing you to use the meshes found within smim for this particular mod it scatters around and retextures all of the external and internal rocks within skyrim with lush hand-picked 3d scanned mossy rocks with a 2k detail this is heavy on the immersive and the environment does play a massive aspect within this game so why not give it some new breath of fresh air with these model meshes and textures i knew instantly straight off the bat this one is gorgeous i'd love to keep this one but as a showcase a 27 megabytes is kind of high for something so small within the background such as rocks but if i did have the space and if you guys are picking things that you do enjoy and don't sort of do the content that i sort of would do and would have a set load order i would definitely be picking this one up El Sopa HD Steel Plate Armor coming in a flat and beautiful 23 megabytes of a download. This is going to be a port from the nexusmods.com and I do believe we have covered this particular mod on the channel before in a previous episode to do with the brand new console mod. Stan me if I am corrected but I'm pretty sure that it has been covered but for this one it has hit the website recently. A beautiful retexture of the steel plate armor in a 2k resolution with loads of other different colors and 
and small detailing added to the plate armor itself. Please do note that the boots are not going to be covered within this particular mod, but personally they do fit very seamlessly together via vanilla in comparison with the mod. I think this is very nice indeed. I do love the aspect of it. It is completely changed and personally I think it's changed for the better. Guys, if you do want a lore friendly steel plate armor replacer in quotations to do with the vanilla one, this is going to be a great new pickup for you to guys to try. So guys, that's the end of this particular episode. This has been episode 522 within my series. Guys, if you did enjoy, I would very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me out an awful lot. If you're new around here too, I would very much appreciate a subscribe why not it's completely free right next as well there's going to be a bell icon if you click that you will get a notification in some way shape or form every single time i post a video like this to the channel but guys until the next one killer kev here and killer kev out